Yeah, with three words, I think I would say yeah, mentor, appreciateful, humble, uh, funny, strong, legend, happiness. He's always smiling. Uh, I never seen him mad. Humble, respectful, and great sense of humor. How was it? We have to start with his personality. He's uh, very respectful to everyone he meets uh, on his way. His natural calmness in uh, almost every situation. Always uh, like positive. Yeah, one of the most down-to-earth guys I've ever met. Especially in that way how he respects other people, how he treats other people. He wants the best for all of the persons around him. It can be staff members, it can be players, it can be everyone in the organization. Uh, that's important to him. My morning can't start uh, without a, a handshake with Mike. You see this guy, uh, you think he's a big star and, and uh, he's so humble. Uh, yeah, it's, it was insane because uh, I thought he would like, not be close as it is now with the players. He's here for, for us and, uh, and uh, we can feel it. When talking about Mike as a role model, I think it's important to, to have in mind his career as a football player. As a coach, sometimes we can talk about the tactical, technical stuff, but the advice they can, they can get from him uh, it's just different compared to what I can give him or some of the other coaches can give him. I, I, I use him in every way, uh, outside the pitch, on the pitch. Well, I mean, on the pitch, you know, like asking him questions, or oh, what can I do better, what should I do here, what should I do here, but outside the pitch, you know, he makes sure like you become like a good person. So Mike is like someone who expects you to do better than what you can do. He's just like a father to me, so... I think it's important to, to talk about when we have so many young players and they can be impatient. Uh, so it's about that next step as fast as possible. It's about being as good as possible, as fast as possible. And sometimes it's just not possible. That can be for, for, for certain reasons, uh, but to have a player like Mike where his natural calmness and uh, not to be afraid of talking about it as well, that there will be times as a player where you're not performing on, on top. And that's, that's important to, to be honest about it, to reflect about it, but, but also just to accept it. And I think Mike have a, a, an important role in terms of, of, uh, of letting these players understand that it will not go in a straight line up, it will go like this. Uh, and if there's one player, and our coach who has experience in this, then it's, then it's for sure him. Try to um, yeah, do what he did in his career. <laughs> Try to, to reach his level, of course, very difficult, but uh, it's something to, to aim for, I think, for everyone. And yeah, just to learn from him uh, every day is yeah, something I'm grateful for. And yeah, grateful to, to, be, uh, to call him my friend and, uh, and, and to know him. Uh, yeah. I think I think generally I'm just a, I'm just a happy person. I'm, uh, I like to I like to be to stay positive in every situation. So and also when you come in uh, when you come into work and you know people give you a, you know a good uh, positive energy back, then then it makes it even more easy for you to be happy. So yeah, it's just and I I like. I, I, I like my living a very quiet life. So in general, I'm just I'm just happy to be to be part of this organization and how people treat you and stuff like that. And this organization has been one of the best organizations I've been because we try to prepare the boys uh, and their football and you know the information we give them and you know to help them to move on to their to the next stage of their of their career. I have one question for you, Mike. Yeah. How is uh, to switch uh, from foot football professional and uh, coach now? I think it's, it, it makes it more easier when you prepare yourself because uh, I start uh, I start doing my uh, my budgets, my license before before I stop playing. So uh, once I stop, then uh, I get into the, into the coaching uh, side of the game. I mean, it's, it's, it's very different. Uh, of course, sometimes I, mi I miss it, but I mean, it's... 
is what it is. Once you, once you're done, you're done. Do you prefer to play uh, back then or you would prefer to play now? That's a good one. I mean, I will, I will also would love to enjoy playing with you guys now yeah. if I could. Me too. Because, yeah, because of because uh, <laughs> of how how we you know uh, we start off the play from the back and how you know you have to be good on the ball, yeah. uh, which I'm not bad. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I would have you know love to play with you guys and also to enjoy this new trend in the in the game. If you give one advice to young players, what do you think the most important would be? Uh, I would say uh, the f very first thing I would say is stay humble, uh, yeah. be very respectful, and uh, and also uh, <clears throat> put in the hard work. Cause mm -hmm. That's the three. Uh, uh, that's my three major uh, words that I always say to uh, to a younger player. I remember when I came. Uh, in Denmark, he came to the airport and he picked me up. And uh, I came here and uh, I had to do an interview in English and everything. And uh, I said to Mike, I don't speak any word in, uh, in English, so you need to help me. And uh, he helped me like a lot. I don't understand how can you be so humble sometimes. It's, it's crazy. Like uh, I, I want to thank you for this <laughs> because uh, it's very important for you, us. You're welcome, but I think uh, I think my humbleness uh, start from uh, when I was when I was little, the way I was brought up. So. I mean, yes, I play football, but you know, you get recognized by playing football. But that shouldn't change your personality, you know. And uh, <clears throat> and I've always been the same. And I think it's uh, it's also always good to you know to help the young ones that's coming up. You know, you, you have to be like a role model to them. And uh, you know, you're the guy with Champions League uh, games and everything, and you're just still picking up the balls from the stands every time. You're the last one to. Uh, to go in after training, you help us with uh, everything. Some clubs, it's always there, the youngest one that collects the balls, and it's always like it's a bad thing to collect the balls for you. I think you you see like it's a, you help you help people. And, no, like, I see. You, I see. You it, enjoy yeah. that, like helping people. Exactly, I see uh, helping uh, yeah. helping each other, and also of course when the when the young ones see me uh, going around and helping yeah. them, of course you, uh, yeah they can look at it and they say oh look at Michael is doing it so. Yeah. Why should I not do it? So it's just to live by, uh, by example. Yeah, it made some thoughts in my head too, uh, that you're going around collecting balls and I'm complaining about collecting the last balls. And, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's just, you just have to uh, yeah. show a good leadership to the, to the young and person. You <laughs> <laughs> too many nice words, uh, huh? <laughs> Thank you, boys. <laughs> <laughs>